Welcome to Mind Matters, a practical, hands-on approach to lifelong skills that build resilience. Today, we are here to learn the peripheral vision exercise. This quick and easy exercise dials down the vagus nerve. This nerve is also called the wanderer, and it moves through the body, beginning at the base of the skull, moving all the way down through the throat, to touch the heart and lungs, to innervate all of our organs. It winds its way through the digestive system, and it ends at the tip of the tailbone. This process of learning the peripheral vision exercise calms the body, the mind, and the nervous system. Peripheral vision pays attention to what's happening at the edges of our field of vision. Take a look at the diagram to better understand this. So we will begin. Get comfortable and find a point on the wall that's in front of you, slightly above eye level. Just look at the point in soft focus, noticing everything about that point. Now, place your hands approximately 12 inches away from your face with your palms facing each other and the index fingers pointing up. Keeping your arms lifted, maintain your gaze on the spot that you selected as you gradually move your hands to the far peripheral vision as shown in the diagram. You open your arms out to a point where you can see the fingers when they wiggle, but not when they are still. This is your far peripheral vision. Now, as your eyes continue to look at the same point, do not move your eyes and begin to notice what is on either side of that point. Your field of vision can get wider and wider until you are paying attention to what you can see out of the corner of your eyes. Keep your hands here and let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let your arms drop and now do this again without using your hands. Count to yourself to 10. And then just let the eyes relax. So the beauty of this practice is that you can do it at any time. When you're getting ready to take a test, if you have an interview, if you're having a conversation that might be challenging, you can use this exercise to calm the nervous system. Now that we've practiced the peripheral vision exercise, let's take a few moments to consider some questions. What is the purpose of the peripheral vision exercise? How do you feel after doing this exercise? When would you use this skill? And can you commit to practicing the peripheral vision this week? Take some time with these questions. <laughs> 